Toss her up. Eight years ago, officers and firefighters in Spanish Fork responded to an overturned car in the Spanish Fork River. Yeah, they say they heard a woman's voice saying, help me. First responders rescued 18-month-old baby Lily after 16 hours hanging upside down above the rushing waters. Now, over the years, we've heard from those first responders about how cases like this impact them. Yeah, May is also National Mental Health Awareness Month, and one of the officers is working to help his fellow first responders. A new specialist, Kara Bracken, joins us now. Uh, Kara, he's got a new foundation in this important cause. Yeah, for the last 18 years, Tyler Beddoes has been putting on his uniform as a police officer. And like all of us, we have good days, but we also have hard days. And as you can imagine, in policing, there are a lot of hard days. So now he's been turning into those what he wished he would have had his resources into more good days. Go, 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 go. I started realizing from back then till now the difference that it's created negatively, like mental health and PTSD and depression, anxiety and things. Tyler Beddoes will tell you, policing is hard work. So the last couple of years, I've seen a huge spike in suicides and just violence in general. And uh, it's clearly not the same. Not only is it hard for those on the scene, it's tough on their families too. Add what he says are limited resources to help in the now, Beddoes decided to do something. That something is a foundation called the Battle Back Foundation that will help police officers, first responders, and their families nationally with mental health resources. Let's fix and battle for our officers now. Threefold, the foundation focuses on helping officers, first responders, and their families through education, therapy, and medication. Maybe someone just needs help with mindset and uh, realizing, you know, that they need to change that negative mindset into positive. Now, Tyler is partnering with Costa Plus Drugs, and that's going to help improve the access for those officers and first responders to get that help they need. And that website, is, it's already up, but the foundation is going to officially launch this Friday. You can learn more over on www.battlebackfoundation.com. Now they're running live. I'm Kara Bracken. I'll send it back to you guys. Wow, sounds like a wonderful resource yeah. for those folks. Thank you, Kara.